So Venus retrograde, what does it bring about? All the OCD aspects that Venus is in charge of, so to speak, right? Aesthetics, clothing, appearance, values, materials, positions, all of these things can come up. So let's see the charts, the natal and Navamsha, because natal is 1 to 36 years, Navamsha is post 36 years, of two famous actors, one from Bollywood, Dilip Kumar, and one from Hollywood, Charlie Chaplin. Let's get into this, it should be interesting. So Venus retrograde as a principle. First, let's tackle the principles of it. A retrograde planet in the natal chart or even in transition, but let's just speak of natal chart or in divisional charts, depicts a principle of overcompensation, OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder, and excessive ego focus in relation to the planet that is a planet behavior in general and the house that planet sits in and aspects from the position of where the planet sits. In the case of Venus, we have done Saturn and Jupiter. Venus retrograde presents itself as an over obsession with jewelry, with looks, appearances, physical appearances, Venusian aspects, aesthetic sense, choice of clothes, all the filters that Venus provides, right? Vanity in extreme cases, especially if it's in the ascendant and ruled by Venus, like Taurus Libra. Venus retrograde affects the house it sits in and reflects most strongly in the opposite house, seventh house place from itself. Okay, so now let's see the charts of famous two famous actors, Dilip Kumar from Bollywood and Charlie Chaplin from Hollywood. Because these are more Venusian, because they are actors, right? They have to portray. Both have Venus retrograde in their charts. Let's see how that affected them. Or let's try to understand if these two humans <clears throat> had these going on in their lives. We can only project. We don't know for certain. So, so that's the chart of natal chart of Dilip Kumar, the famous Bollywood actor. <laughs> He had Venus in the 11th house retrograde in his chart. His ascendant is in Shravana Nakshatra, which we shall see how it will impact because ascendant Nakshatra is the most crucial in the natal chart, in any divisional chart for that matter. What does it provide? Remember the signatures of Venus retrograde. Obsessive attention to aesthetics, meticulous attention to visual appearance of everything. From clothing, accessories to the living spaces, desire for beauty and aesthetics may lead to a perfectionist approach. Why do I say perfectionist approach? This is Capricorn Ascendant. Capricorn Ascendant people generally are perfectionists. They won't leave a thing till they finish it to the T. And now it's 11th house. Now for an actor, 11th house is very important. He was an actor because it's all about public appearance, appearance to the external world. He might have had desire for social harmony, community, 11th house aspect, think 11th house and Venus sitting there. It's also secretive if you want to look at it that deep because it's the house of Scorpio. Overtly focused on seeking social harmony, may use social connections and create a sense of belonging among friends and social circles. So they might want to have an urge to do that. Venus retrograde in the 11th house. May work through issues related to social interactions. 11th house is social community, the larger community. Feelings of inadequacy and insecurity may come to the attention of others. If Venus is trying to overcompensate in the 11th house, this may lead to such an observation by people around them. They might have innovative fashion choices. They may have an innovative creative approach to fashion and personal style. 
We are not afraid to experiment with unique cutting edge clothing and accessories. I think Dilip Kumar was a little cutting edge for his times, right? He is no more there with us, but when he was present, he was quite unorthodox. Desire for aesthetic harmony in social circles. Venus is all about aesthetics. So it will look for aesthetics in social circles when it is sitting in 11th house. Within social circles, they seek aesthetic harmony and compatibility. It is looking for similar ground. Now, this Venus. <clears throat> Balancing indi individuality with group dynamics. Capricorn Ascendant, which he was, highlights individuality but in social interactions, working to balance uniqueness within group dynamics. This is what was the urge of this Venus for this gentleman. Now, seventh aspect from 11th to this Venus would be the fifth house. Right? So, what does it lead to? Venus Rx in 11th on to the fifth in natal chart. We are still in natal chart. We'll come to Navamsha next. OCD creativity and art, artistic expression. Well, this is a good thing considering he was an actor. Perfectionist Capricorn in the area of creativity. Very good thing for an actor. May have an old, excessive, deep passion for the arts, creative talents. This could come over as over planning aesthetics meaning micromanaging all the aesthetic part. Is this kind of clothing good for this particular cut or this particular role or this particular scene that we are shooting? You see what I'm saying? So it can come across like that. Venus retro aspect can intensify romantic inclinations because fifth house is the house of romance. And he was a romantic hero type of material also. He did many romantic roles, the famous Mogalayazam may be drawn to partners who appreciate aesthetics and share love for art and beauty. Children in parenthood, they might be overtly focused on the aesthetic part of their upbringing, bringing more artistic sense to their kids' parenting skills. Emphasis on personal pleasure. I want all these good things of my life, right? may seek opportunities for entertainment, leisure and joyful experiences. They may want to go out, fine dine. In fact, I saw him when he was alive in Copper Chimney Restaurant in Mumbai. Sentimental approach to romance and creativity. Venus retrograde sentimental nature is further emphasized by fifth house aspects. May have deep emotional attachments to romantic relationships. I think he and his missus had a fantastic life together. Because this Venus will be overtly devoted to the partner also. Aesthetic choices in romance may plan aesthetically pleasing and memorable dates. Like I said, fine dine, taking to all fancy restaurants, fancy resorts. This Venus will really quote the person they are in love with. They'll shower them with all the attention. It's a good thing. Let's see the nakshatra, Shravana nakshatra and how that plays. Now his ascendant nakshatra in natal, if you looked at that, was Shravana, right? The main challenge of Shravana is to listen to good counsel, but the real firing up comes with a life lesson. Inquisitiveness of goal is required to find the path. Now, his goal was to become an actor because Venus is already there, even Sun is there if you look at other planets. So he found his inquisitiveness of the goal pretty, pretty successfully, you might say, because he became a very, very successful actor, right? So that's the life lesson of Shravana. That's how it plays out. <clears throat> In relation to Venus retrograde, however, it might play out as you need to know who is your right partner. Because Venus is all about partnership, especially for males. In the male chart, Venus stands for the opposite sex. Now let's see his Navamsha. Okay. The Navamsha chart. Venus for him <clears throat> has moved to the second house retrograde. Remember, if it's retrograde in natal, it goes retrograde in Navamsha as well. This is Navamsha of Dilip Kumar. Ascendant is in Punar Vasu Nakshatra in Gemini. What does this lead to? Let us see. Now, in his Navamsha, <clears throat> 
Venus has moved to the second house, retrograde. What does it lead to? Obsessive attention to aesthetics and material comfort. Second house is house of earned wealth. Second house is the house of your value system. Especially in the context of personal belongings, meticulous attention to visual appeal and quality of the items they have, let's say in their house, it's also the home environment, second and fourth are immediate family. Perfectionist approach to personal style, clothing, grooming, accessories must be met with very high aesthetic standards, Venus is aesthetics. May invest significant time and effort to achieve the desired look. Now, whether this was true for this gentleman, only the people closest to their to this individual might know. Sentimental attachments to material positions. Venus attaches Venus and Moon attaches a lot of aesthetic and sentimental value. Now it's in the second house to home and family. Venus retrograde often signifies sentimental attachment to material possessions. Desire for aesthetic harmony. Probably he would have sought for this virtual, visually pleasing, comfortable surroundings. <clears throat> Even personal appearance, personal value system might be affected by Venus filter, so to speak. Challenging past financial patterns. Second house is the house of finance. Venus retrograde often prompts revisiting of past financial patterns and issues may have had that because it's also looking at the eighth house now let's talk about that seventh aspect eighth house house of joint financial assets secrets intimate relationship with the spouse joint financial assets transformation deep attachment to material positions as inheritance it's the house of inheritance Influence of Venus retrograde here can bring sentimental attachments to material inheritance after marriage. We don't know this. Only his missus, his wife would know this. Especially those related to shared resources. Intense financial transformation. Less so in this case, I would say, if it was Lord of the Eighth. For example, if he was a Libra ascendant, this would have been really powerful. But since he is Gemini ascendant, not so much. Financial matters can become a focal point for profound change. They might experience intentional financial ups and downs. Why? Because this house is being looked at by Venus retrograde. So you might be thinking about it, it might not actually happen. If the Lord of the Eighth is situated there, Venus retrograde, it might actually happen. Powerful emotional bonds in intimate relationships. Venus retrograde often indicates strong emotional bonds, revisiting past relationship patterns. In an introverted kind of way, retrograde brings about introversion of these. He might have these as private feelings. Eighth house is the house of secrets. And Venus retrograde is looking at that. You see what I'm saying? Exploration of financial emotional depth. They may be drawn to exploring deeper aspects of their life in terms of finance, joint financial assets and emotional matters. See how this can play out. Now let's see quickly. The Ascendant Punarvasu Life Lesson is to bring, li bring to life the dry mind by one's own moistness of emotion. Therefore, in his Navamsha chart, this would have played out pretty dominantly. This is my take on it. Because Venus is about emotions and Punarvasu is driving towards that life lesson. Now let's see Charlie Chaplin's chart, Natal and Navamsha. That's the Natal chart of Charlie Chaplin. The famous actor, one of my favorites. What a beautiful soul. His ascendant is in Swati Nakshatra in Libra, which is ruled by Venus. And Venus was retrograde. And it's in 7th house as I have put it there. So imagine the implications of this. So Venus retrograde plays out very, very strongly in a person's chart. 
if it is the lord of the ascendant and it has gone retrograde okay it becomes a dominant theme of ocd how did this play out venus rx in seventh to the ascendant that's the reflection first let's see venus rx in natal aesthetic sensitivity affecting of others because it's in the other house now the lord of the first is in the seventh and it's retrograde so a lot of focus on the aesthetic aspects around them everything about others more so spouse and relationships heightened aesthetic sensitivity towards others and acutely aware of aesthetics of his surroundings he might have been more focused on the set his clothing the director the take he's an actor was an actor including appearance clothing and decor diplomacy and social skills now if it's a libran by default they are good diplomats swati ascendant is a very good diplomat they don't like to offend people and because the lord of the ascendant is in the seventh house it likely to possess strong diplomacy and social skills extreme diplomacy at one's own cost charlie chaplin might have been a kind of person who's constantly thinking about others he must have worked to maintain self esteem while fostering harmonious connections with others seeking harmony in relationships deeply influenced by opposite sex it's in the house of spouse it's in the house of intimacy and spouse relationships relationships with the opposite sex specifically and venus the lord of the ascendant is sitting right there looking at it all relationships can be karmic in nature why why do i say that it is retrograde retrograde is typically issues from past life carried to this life and it is sitting in the house of spouse in the house of relationships so my guess is all charlie chaplin's relationships must be people from his past life as intimate connections sometimes to the point of accommodating needs excessively this would prompt revisiting and resolving past karmic relationship issues aesthetic exploration and creativity with others everything about others emotional investment in appearance is deeply tied to self worth especially because it is reflecting back the seventh place on the ascendant now let's see venus in the ascendant what it provided charlie chaplin the reflection of venus from seventh to the first gives us what retrograde so obsession with personal style first house is the ascendant one's own personality body head mind obsessive about personal style appearance fashion choices often affecting the self worth of the individual now venus retrograde because the lord of the ascendant ascendant is looking all at itself like a mirror reflection opinions of the opposite sex matter to him a lot especially women the women in his life his co-actors may have affected whatever they said about him a lot he took it very personally perhaps charming and graceful presentation pleasing and a harmonious demeanor that makes them approachable and likable to others da charlie chaplin was of that kind everybody loved him over to desire for harmonious relationship with opposite sex venus sitting right opposite and it's looking at him he might have wanted to create an atmosphere of comfort and cooperation diplomacy swati nakshatra ascendant sentimental attachments to jewelry and possessions i don't know about this but this often is a reflection of needing a lot of jewelry kind of thing let's see the swati nakshatra aspects now his ascendant is swati nakshatra in natal what's the life lesson of swati individuality needs solitude for perfection and discovery of new territory charlie chaplin started something very original in terms of content individuality he would have wanted that at all costs but what did he do that provided in that in terms of venus ascendant all these characteristics would have helped him 
to bring about that originality of Swati in his life. But this is just before 36 years. Let's see his Navamsha. Now in Navamsha, Charlie Chaplin went from being a Libra ascendant to Aquarius ascendant. Air sign to air sign. This becomes very, very abstract mental thinking, Aquarius and ascendant in Purva Padrapada, which we shall see how it affected. And now Venus went to Jeshtha Nakshatra in the 10th house. So it became everything about Venus and about others. See how it dictates even the career path. Even the last one we saw, Dilip Kumar, was in the 11th house. This is in the 10th house. So you might say Venus retrograde in 10th or 11th for a person is a strong indicator of wanting to follow acting. Career path is acting. So now let's see Venus retrograde in 10th house, artistic career path. Career success is emotionally significant, driven by aesthetics and artistry. Venus here suggests that they may have a deep-seated artistic expression wanting to come out, especially if it's Aquarius, it's all about others, the 11th house. Balancing individuality with career, that's another problem for Aquarius ascendant, isn't it? Because they are all about others, yet they want to be individual. Swati wanted to be individual in the natal, now it wants to be all about others. With Aquarius Ascendant, Venus Retrograde, they might seek to balance their unique individuality in their professional life. See how it affects the career because it's Venus Retrograde in 10th. May be inclined to pursue non-traditional career paths. Charlie Chaplin had a very unconventional life as an artist. Unique brand of it. Innovative approach to professional image, they may seek to present themselves in a way that reflects their unconventional ideas. Look at his dressing in that black and white movie he does, the typical Charlie Chaplin, right? Think about that. Balancing, balancing eccentricity and professionalism. Purva Bhadrapada Nakshatra in Ascendant is very eccentric, right? It's anything but conventional. The combination of an Aquarius Ascendant and in Purva Bhadrapada Nakshatra, Venus Retrograde in 10th, emphasizes the need to balance eccentricity with professionalism. Intimate partnerships with people from work, Venus Retrograde in the 10th. He might have met lots of his better halves, lots of relationships, affairs with actresses, actors these days, female actors in his acting career most of his partnership would have come from work because this is Navamsha now let's see how it affects the reflected part onto the fourth house okay so this reflection from 10th house Venus retrograde to fourth house in Aquarius ascendant for Charlie Chaplin would bring what Unconventional home environment, Purva Bhadra Pada Nakshatra, Aquarius, very unconventional, may prefer original and innovative approach to interior decoration of their house. It's reflecting on the fourth house. Choosing furnishings and decor that reflect your individuality and modern taste. Now, I don't know how Charlie Chaplin did it for his house. People know who know him might know. Emotional connection to specific objects inside his house. These objects may have a significant personal value for them. Balancing individuality and home harmony. Now, individuality is one thing in the 10th house, but in the home environment, this unconventionality will play up for him, but they need to balance this. Make harmonious and comfortable home environment can be a recurring theme and an obsession for them. It's retrograde, remember, so your OCD will come out. Sentimental attachments to home. They may have a strong emotional attachment to their home, which can manifest as desire for stable and comfortable living. He might have been obsessed with his home, decor decorating his home in with unconventional stuff. Emphasis on modern technology with Aquarius Ascendant, which is all about modern technology, software, internet, was not there in his days. To incorporate gadgetry inside their home. This is another theme of Aquarius. 
revisiting past family dynamics, home, family, fourth house. With Venus retrograde influence may prompt revisiting of past family dynamics and home environment, especially since his natal chart was all about Libra, Venus. It was ruled by Venus. Okay. Now let's see Purva Bhadrapada and close up. Purva Bhadrapada nakshatra, which is his ascendant nakshatra in Navamsha, will play out dominantly. What is the theme here? Life lesson is dissolution of materials in sacrificial fire for higher purpose. Finding true depth brings peace to internal anger or fire. That's the life lesson of Puro Padrapada. Seems quite hectic, isn't it? Now, if you see his chart, he was a prominent actor. You got Venus retrograde sitting, Lord of the First, natal chart, Lord of the Ascendant, now in 10th house in the Navamsha. So later on in life, he might have become all about others. How do I achieve this Venus perfection in my tradition, in my sorry, work career as an actor? and take it to the fourth house. Say what I mean? So that would have become his obsession later on in life, which plays out in this Purva Bhadrapada Nakshatra. So Charlie Chaplin, my guess is, to wrap this up, in later part, those who were close to him might have figured this out. He became all about others. I'm not interested in materials. I'm not interested in all these things. I just want to get rid of all these things to so sacrifice these materialistic things in order to be benefit to others, Aquarius. That's how it played out in his life, probably. In the next one, let's see Mars retrograde. And we shall take this probably I'll do it with politicians or maybe popular personalities, more so politicians. Mars is very political, Kshatriya. Let's see that next. Take care, be safe.